Hai hey, Azza, Assalamualaikum. Oh, hello. It's all white. You haven't uh, there. I was about to say, you haven't taken off the. Okay, so, uh, Kim, but you 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 can actually use I for the characters. It's totally fine. But if you want to change it into Kim, it's okay too. Oh. So Kim is oh. Kim is okay. Do you still want to use Kim? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, how was your school, by the way? Uh, good news, but it's really? already, <laughs> yeah, it's already full day in my school. Offline, right? Yes, this is mm. my third day of full day, and it's really tiring. <laughs> so what time do you have to go to school? What time until what time? Uh, 7 a.m. until uh, 14, 30. So, 2.30 p.m.? Yes, 2.30 p.m. Okay. Every day? Yes, ma'am. So. <laughs> After tired. one and a half years? Yeah. <laughs> My body. Just sort of bad which, and then sand. <laughs> which one do you like then? The offline um, or the online? I think there's plus and minus. So I can't choose me. <laughs> online is good, but offline is better. <laughs> Seriously, offline is better? Yes, maybe, because it's not tiring at all, right? But, but, but you still have to, like, the trip to school is tiring, and then you have to sit yeah. still in the classroom. Well, during online, you can actually lie down. <laughs> Yeah. So, if it were me, I would choose the, what do you call it? 50-50, uh, the hybrid. Yeah. Um, so, one day online, one day offline, one day online. One day ah, yeah. Keep it like that. Uh, yeah. I will. By the time I you go online you miss the offline oh i want to meet my friend yeah. and then by the time it's offline oh i want to lie down on my bed <laughs> so yes, that's true. it keeps going okay mm. so let's get started since nobody is here uh let's just take a look at your Bening just sent me the link Okay. Now, uh, the topic sentence, it's okay to copy this topic sentence. However, it says his encounter with Nessie. Pertemuannya dengan Nessie. Now, if you make it like this, Kim would always remember her encounter in her neighbor's house. Kim akan selalu mengingat pertemuannya di rumah tetangganya. It doesn't make sense. Her encounter with what? With a spooky thing or something strange, an eerie creature? You need to put that in your topic sentence. Mm, yes, Hai Bening, Assalamualaikum. Hello, Miss Bening's voice is so sleepy. Are you okay? I'm okay, Miss. Not sleepy. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. You just you just snored. Did you have the flu? No. No. Okay. Juan Yunbi. Wait, 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 wait. Why did you change? Okay, first encounter. You have more than just one encounter. Aza? What? Yes. Do you have more than one encounter with that creature? 
once. So you don't have to say first. It's only one. Uh, <laughs> oh, Kim yeah, would always God. remember her encounter with with what? Wait, wait. Hmm. Her eerie. I'm going to Benings first. Bening, what's wrong with your paragraph? My topic sentence. <laughs> mm, not yet. Not before the topic sentence mm. and everything else. The sh uh -huh. indented. You missed the indentation. Indented the paragraph. The first line? Oh, they're just, okay. Ah, there you go. Mm. The topic sentence, uh, you don't need to put, hello, my name is Bening. Uh, you can just start with this. Um, this is my spooky story that happened when I was on vacation. Just can start with that. This is a spooky story. Um, this is my spooky story that happened uh, when I was on vacation. This is my spooky story that happened when I was on my vacation in Jogja. There. Here you use Yogya, and then here you use Jogja. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Kim would always remember her eerie experience in her neighbor's house. Okay, oh, there you go. You change it. On September 14, 2015, Kim was visiting her neighbor's house because it ostends. It was. Mm. Hi, Cha. I haven't opened your uh, docs. Okay. It was around 8 p.m. Past tense. Past tense. <laughs> Could not see clearly in front of her. From a distance of 50 meters, she, she saw a woman who was looking down, wearing traditional clothes, standing in front of the of trees. The figure seemed to have long hair and a death stare. Kim, past tense. Wait. Past tense of looks. The witness looked like. Ah, there you go. Wait, my phone is lagging. I think. Oh my god, my phone is lagging. Okay, Kim looked away, causing her to be dumbfounded and quickly. Um, Kim looked away. Quick, Kim quickly. Past tense. Then as Kim looked on in shock, the figure appeared in front of her. No, 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 no. This is not past tense no. because you use to, to infinitive. So to hug. Okay, mm. got it. Then as Kim looked on in shock, the figure appeared in front of her with the difference. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The figure appeared in front of her with the difference several. What do you mean the difference? Jarak. I mean. Uh, gak terlalu jauh jaraknya. Oh, with the gap, you can say gap, with the gap of several meters. Oh, not different. G-A-P, gap. 
with a gap of several meters. But after that, but after that, comma, because if you don't put a comma, we will read it like this. But after that, the figure disappeared. But after that, the figure. The figure disappeared in the blink of an eye. Surely, comma. Uh, this one offers a gap. It, uh, please don't use contraction. Could not have been a real person because she, past tense, For others, please check your paragraph. Do you use contractions? Do you use proper capitalization? Do you, uh, is your paragraph indented? Past tense, Aza? The can one. Yeah, she could see the figure flying on the land. Uh, you don't say flying on the land, floating. Oh. Melayang, right? Yeah. Floating. Floating. Uh, okay, floating on the land. This is double space. Not long afterwards, she went home. After that, she told, wait, I thought your mom was with you. That's why you grabbed your mom to hold him. Ah. Oh, oh yeah. Which one? Was your mom with you or not? Uh, yes, she's with her mom, but her mom didn't know what happened with her. Ah, uh, she explained then. Don't tell. If you just tell, your mom already knew what happened, but you explain to your mom. After that, she explained to her mom what had happened. Her mom said that it would have been, or it could have been. I prefer it could have been. It could have been just the hallucination because at that time, Kim, past tense, others, Play, uh, check your paragraph for past tenses because you are talking about uh, past events or past experience. So everything should be in the past. And also it was night and dark. That experience made Kim, there you go. Google uh, gave you suggestion. That experience made Kim get closer to. If you say the God, it means you're talking about Dewa Dewa. Do you want to talk about Tuhan or Dewa? Tuhan. God. You don't use the. Ooh. There's only one God. Yeah. If you use the God, then it means that there are more than one God. So I will capitalize Ooh. the G. Oh. Okay. And ask for. Uh, I prefer not to use his or her for Allah, but if you do want to use his, then it needs to be capitalized. Okay. If I were you, this is how I make my sentence. That, that experience made Kim get closer to Allah and ask for protection. That's it. I don't use yeah. his, her. Mm, I find it uh, irrelevant because we are taught not to use his or her. So mm -hmm. to you though. Uh, that's it for you, Aza. You may leave the Zoom room if you want to.
you have finished all your tasks, so thank you for that. Oh yeah, thank you, Miss. Mm. If you want <laughs> to see the others editing theirs, feel free to stay. This is my spooky story oh. that happened when I was on my vacation in Yogyakarta. There, that's the topic sentence ending. A few months ago, my family and I went to my grandparents' apostrophe. My grandparents. No, 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 grandparents after S, because you still have both grandma and grandpa, right? So grandparents apostrophe house. Mm, ap um, apostrophe. There. Uh, remember, this is for every one of you. When you talk about more than one people, you put uh, the comma there, apostrophe, but you don't put another S after. But if it's one person, for example, uh, Harris, Harris name is with S. So Harris apostrophe S, it's fine, okay? Which, uh, and I went to my grandfather, which was located in Yogyakarta, past tense. A few days after arriving in Yogyakarta, in Jogja, because you already use why I was. You already use Jogja twice, Bening. You can say a few days after arriving in the city, something. You can be creative with the words. We plan to have we have we plan to have dinner at a restaurant to celebrate my grandfather's 80th birthday. You could say the restaurant was quite old. Actually, all the menu past tense. Was very good. Um, this one should be full stop, period. And then you start a new sentence. No, no, a new sentence, not a new paragraph. Okay, it past tense. It was quite fancy and the place was outdoor. Thank you. Full stop. This one should be a new sentence. Okay. There were many hallways where the lights no, correct, but there were many hallways where, nah, don't follow. Remember, Google can suggest you to do something, but it is still your choice to choose whether to follow or not. There were many hallways where the lights were quite dim, but the plus point was that the food was delicious. Oh, two then, but the plus points were because you're talking about two things. That the food was delicious and the service was very good. After, not after all, after my family finished eating, we shared stories and joked together. We'll stop. This should be a new sentence. Okay, then comma. Before going home, coma, we decided to take a photo, full stop. This is another new sentence. Okay, we asked one of the employees to take a photo of us. Uh, you don't need this. Then, coma, past tense. Past tense. Past tense. Past tense. Past tense. Past 
past tense? Okay, past tense. Uh, I was not sure if it was a hand because the photo was quite blurry, but my mom, past tense. Past tense. It might, there you go, you missed that. Remember, we are trying to use uh, model plus have plus verb three. It, it might have not been, it might not have been my hand. Or, because you are sure about it, you don't use might, by the way. You did the peace post, so you were sure about it. Don't use might. It's, it must not have been. My hands, because I, past tense, did the peace pose, full stop. I have asked all my family, but no one confessed, full stop. I've got goosebumps. Mm. I already got, you don't need have. I already got goosebumps and I just remembered I have, I had not, I had not, past tense. My sister yet, full stop. This is a new sentence. Okay. Then coma, remember after then, at the beginning of a sentence, you need to use a comma because it is a time signal. Then I quickly asked her, full stop. It should, this is the same as this. It should have been. Her hand, because who else but her? Hmm, because there was no one else but her. Because there was no one else but her. And then full stop, this is another sentence. And yes, comma. It turned out to be my sister's hand. So, you don't use and. So, we were all relieved. Actually, I rarely experience eerie things, but I always overthink about these kinds of terrible things. Full stop. But all my family reminds me that such things do not exist and you do not have to think about it. Okay. Uh, so instead of but, because uh, we don't typically use but and and at the at the beginning of a sentence, you can use however, opening. however, comma. That's a better way to use uh, but than but. There you go. That's it, Bening. So it's not that difficult to make a paragraph, right? especially when you already followed the previous steps. Okay, Bening is done. Uh, who's next? Icha, I suppose. Thank you, Miss. Yep. Cha, cha, cha. Let's check yours, Cha. Icha, your paragraph is not indented. Indent your paragraph. There was one... Um, when you say one of the things, mm, you don't usually start with there. So you just say there was one thing I remember the most. 
there was one thing I remember the most. Thing, because it's only one. There was one thing. I remember the most. About what, Ja? You need to put this in the topic sentence. Remember when we talk about the topic sentence, we need to tell what happened slightly in the story. There was one thing I remember the most about uh, Tolongagung Kediri trip or um, my road trip to Tolongagung, uh, road trip to Kediri from Tulungagung or something. There was one thing I remember the most about. My road trip or um, My Tulungagung Kediri trip, up to you, feel free. Okay, let's check Ray Ray. Ray, indent your paragraph, please. Is Rera even here? Yep. Yes, yes. Indent your paragraph. Okay. Yes, Miss. You haven't indented your paragraph. I'm sorry, Miss. Is indent, indent, in indent. Hmm. This is already intermediate too, and you've learned about indented paragraphs since elementary, since the first time you joined Leah, whatever level that is. Indent. Paragrafnya menjorok ke dalam. Ja? Oh, okay, wait, 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 there wait, was wait, one wait. thing I remember the most about my trip. Don't use while. While is sementara. You want to go straight to the point. About my trip from Tulungagung to Kediri or my road trip or... Go straight to the point. This is a scary story that happened to me. Pere, this is a scary story that happened to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, about what? This one needs to be. Oh, what is? What did you encounter? I need. The, sorry, I said. Uh, what happened in the story? Oh, what uh, at the time I was the chairman, when I was going around, that was acting strangely. Uh, okay, so you need to say this is a scary, uh, this was, this was a scary story that happened to me. This is, is fine, okay. This is a scary story that happened to me and my junior. Oh uh, no. You need to put something that tells a little bit about the scary story in the topic sentence. As you can see in the example, the person says his, his encounter with Nessie. Nessie is the Loch Ness monster. So he didn't tell how he met Nessie in the topic sentence but he said he met Nessie. 
that's it. Okay, there was one thing I remember the most about my trip from Tulungagung to Kediri, and it gave me, you don't make feel goosebumps, but it gives you goosebumps. Yeah? Icha is gone. Where's Icha? Jing Jing Icha? Yeah. And it gave me goosebumps. The phrase is gave you goosebumps. Past tense, yeah. Hmm, past tense. Gave me. This is a scary story that happened to me. Ray, you haven't added anything. Let's go. What are you waiting for? This is a scary story that happened to me during my time. Uh, I, I was added, but I think not. Yeah. Last edit was mm -hmm. made three minutes ago. Oh, wait, wait. Is that update? Mm, oh, yeah. Me. That's mm -hmm. it. This is a scary story that happened to me and my and it gave me goosebumps. Ja, coming back to you and it gave me goosebumps. I'm jumping between yours and Rere so Please pay attention to your own um, work. Okay. There was one thing I remember the most about my trip from Tulangagung to Kediri, and it gave me goosebumps. That's it. You don't need to feel scared because goosebumps means you are scared. Four years ago, after returning from Tulangagung and going to Surabaya, we had to pass through Kediri. But because before entering Kediri, uh, you don't need this. Before entering Kediri, there was, you talk about road closure. You can use that here. Before entering Kediri, comma, there was, There was a road closure and we had to pass through Kediri alternative road. Back to Rere. This is a scary story that happened to me and my junior when I was in the in the Eighth grade, I became the chairman of the committee of my organization's LDKS event. At that time of the activity, comma, there was one schedule. Uh, there was one schedule. There is too many there, there. Um, Jurit malam time was scheduled. That's it. Make your sentences simple, but straight to the point. Jurit malam time was scheduled. Okay, I'm going back to Icha. Before entering Kediri, Icha, you don't need a capital letter. There was a road closure. That was your sentence in the the story earlier. Closure. Didn't you say closure? Mm, sorry. 
There you go. There was road closure. So, comma. We had to pass through Kediri Alternative Road. At around 11 p.m., our car was forced to drive down the alternative road. Only my mom, dad, and I, past tense. Mm. Mom, dad, and I, more than one person. So we're, okay. I saw around the road. Unfortunately, when you are in the car, you don't usually saw around the road. I saw on the road. Or you can say, I saw around me or I saw around the car. But I saw on the road. Yeah, I saw on the road. I'll come back to Jurit Malam time was scheduled. Passive voice was scheduled. Passive voice, right? was scheduled. To be plus verb three, okay. The night jury went around the school from, okay. Uh, jurit malam is Indonesian, so you do need to put that quotation mark, jurit malam. So, Jurit Malam time was scheduled. Full stop. The Jurit Malam uh, quotation mark. Two. Not an apostrophe, but quotation mark. The Jurit Malam road went around the school from the hall to the basketball court through the cafeteria and ended up in the ceremonial court. Full stop. There, this is so simple. You can, you can use Google to help you. All lights and lighting were turned off and participants only brought candles and a paper, a piece of paper. Paper is uh, uncountable, so you cannot use a paper. A piece of paper. to sign at each post. At that time, I was the chairman. You already said you were the chairman of the committee. You don't need this, this again. I was in charge. You can just say that. I was in charge to check around and take documentation. You don't need to tell this again. You already said it at the beginning of the sentence, uh, of the paragraph, sorry. See, I became the chairman of the committee. I was in charge to check around and take documentations for our organizations, uh, for our, our organization archive. You may want to use archive instead of private documentation. Back to Ija. I saw around, I saw on the road, so you don't need around. I saw on the road, there were only rice fields, large trees, coma, and see, this is parallelism. So everyone, uh, for those of you not doing yours, please check each us. We use parallelism with and and but. When you use, there were only rice fields, these are nouns, large trees, nouns, and then suddenly very dark. This is an adjective, 
you cannot use this and very dark situation that's fine but very dark what there should be a noun i saw on the road there were only rice fields large trees and very dark surrounding there and very dark surroundings Okay, I'm going back to Tere. At that time, I was carding. What is carding, Ray? I was in charge. You said in charge. I was in charge to check around and take. Okay, going back to Icha. And very dark situation, a very dark situation. Situation is countable. You need a, there you go. Google gave you the suggestion. Uh, not still on this road. We stayed on this road for about 15 minutes. So we stayed on this road. Remember, every sentence needs. A subject, unless it's a, an imperative sentence, kalimat perintah. So we past tense, yeah. We stayed on this road for about fifteen minutes. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Uh, can you spell that? Chart. Chart. In charge. Chart. I n c h a r g e. In charge. You already wrote that earlier. You stayed on this road for about fifteen minutes. Cha. Yeah? This is full stop, and then this is a new sentence. Capitalize in the middle of the road. Come on, we saw a strange old cart with the end plate. Plate doesn't need to be capitalized. Plate. Okay. In the middle of the road, we saw a strange old car with the end plate and drove very slowly. I suddenly felt an unnerving atmosphere because we knew that this, uh, you don't need comma with this. We knew that this road was only one way and this car we met and this and we met this car. We met this car at the border. At the border of Tulungagung and Kediri. At the border of Tulungagung and Kediri. I was in charge of checking around and taking private documentation for our organization day. Extra space is not needed. Delete 